What's going on guys and welcome to another video where today we're going to be refurbing the Golf GTI's headlights. Um, obviously this is quite an old car now with a lot of miles and I reckon that these headlights definitely need to be touched up just to make it look a little bit better. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and crack on. So since I last made this video about the GTI, um, I've gone ahead, I've changed um, a couple of the sensors, uh, try, and, try changing the crank sensor, the camshaft sensor, um, and the boost pipe that runs in front of the inlet manifolds. I've changed all them. Um, we've managed to get a couple of the codes gone, um, but unfortunately not all of them. And we still have a little bit of a um, running issue, that's for sure. Um, I've taken it to one of my friends and he reckons that the timing might be a little bit out. Um, this actually had a cam belt done 10,000 miles ago uh, by a local garage. Um, so I haven't really bothered to message or ring them about it, but I'm going to go ahead and get the timing checked just to make sure before I accuse anybody that it wasn't done properly. Um, but it's definitely out and isn't just a something simple. But um, anyway. So today's video is going to be about refurbing these Xenon headlights. As you guys can see, these aren't in the best of shape. It's all completely um, worn out, especially the main area where the sun hits. Uh, same with this one, just complete foggy. So um, yeah, way I'm going to do this is I'm going to pop the bonnet. I'm going to tape all around. I can't get these headlights out because I think it's a bumper off job and I can't really be bothered with that. Um, so cover all around it, get some cloths around it, um, wet sand it, and then go ahead and use some two pack lacquer and to get these hopefully shining almost like new again. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and use masking tape just to go around the bottom of the bumper. And then for this bit, I'll probably just grab a cloth and just put the hood up, grab a cloth and hopefully that'll be enough. You see, that's what almost what they're meant to be like. Okay, so I'm just going to completely copy this and do it to the other side, and then I'll go ahead and come back to you guys. Okay guys, so basically what I've done is, as you can see, I've taped completely all up around all the paintwork and everything that's not basically the lights. I've also put the towel around the top as there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do one at a time. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one. Um, just wet sanding the whole light and then um, we'll go from there. Okay, so I've got here 2000 grit, um, I believe. The only times I've ever done this before is only with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use 2000. A nice soapy used bucket of water. Um, so yeah, uh, separate this. That's not ideal. That's better. So what you wanna do is get your sandpaper. And then just, I mean, you probably should as well get this all wet and yeah just want to sort of glide over the light i'm sure there's thousands of videos of this on youtube but this is the way i've been told to do it so i'm gonna go ahead and share it with you guys because i've recently done it on my st and yeah <laughs> it came up amazing compared to what they were so I want to go ahead and try with these lights and I've got quite good hopes, to be fair. Okay, so I'm going to do this for a little while and then I'll go ahead and come back to you guys. Okay guys, so I've just been doing this for about another 5-10 minutes, um, getting it as good as I can. So I'm going to go ahead 
I'll just go ahead and wipe all this off. Get it back to the back to the bear. Get all the uh, moisture off anyway. There we go. And you can use a heat gun just to make sure that it all is completely dry. I was gonna use mine today. Unfortunately, I found out it, it no longer is working properly. So that's always great. So now I need to buy another heat gun. So yeah, that's how we are now. And that's how we were before. Cool, so I'm gonna head and just let this fully dry before I start putting lacquer on top of it because I definitely don't want any of this to be wet otherwise it will turn out absolutely shit. Yeah. Cool, I'll go ahead and get back to you guys once this is fully dry. Okay guys, so I've got this which is meant to be for alloy wheels but it's still 2k clear coat. So if you guys want any of this, just go ahead and eBay it, Google it, You'll do whatever you do. As long as it's 2K, you'll be completely fine. So I'm gonna head and start from the bottom. Just give it a quick pre-spray. And just go. Nice, thick coats. Just like that. Okay guys, so as you guys can see, it's already loads better. It's so much more clearer compared to the original state these are in. All I've been doing is literally that one coat that I just sprayed and I've been going over it with this heat gun, which is no longer very hot because I think the heating element has gone. I think we can do another coat, so. Always pre-spray guys, because this type of shit fucking happens. And then instantly get on it with the heat gun to get all the white. Really would help if you actually had a heat gun that was very hot. This would turn out a little bit better, a lot faster, but yeah. Okay, so I've just been going over with the heat gun um, and already so much better like actually insanely better because obviously when you're sanding it all the grooves and everything that the sand paper has made gets filled by the lacquer and yeah it just looks absolutely night and day like yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and put one more layer on go over with the heat gun one more time Last thick layer. And then straight away. And there we go guys, so this is the finished product, this is what I'll be leaving them as. Um, I must admit, I think they look better in person than they do on camera, but as you guys can see, they're not like new, but they're definitely a lot more presentable than the faded look. So yeah, I'll go ahead, get all this crap off, and we'll go ahead and see what it looks like back to Original. 
Okay, so there we go. That's how they look now. Compared to before. Go ahead and put the lights on so you guys can see the difference as well. Oh wow. Oh, it doesn't really pick it up on camera that well. Ah, a little bit it does. So, if I can try and get the camera to work for me here. I'm not really having it, is it? Yeah. And then. Yeah. Sure. So yeah guys, uh, I'm not too sure if I should show you guys how I'm doing this one, but I'm gonna go ahead and just do it anyway. And then I'll come back to you guys once this one is completely finished. And then, that'll be it, at least that'll be done. Definitely looks a lot better. And I'll go ahead, I do wanna change this back to the original color as well. I think somebody's, Go ahead and painted this. That's actually cracked there. It might even be worth getting a new grill. But uh yeah. Okay guys, so I just finished sanding down this light. So I'm gonna go ahead and start applying lacquer now. So uh yeah, we're getting there. Okay, so that's what, that one done now as well. So I'm gonna go ahead, remove all the masking tape and the towel, and uh, we'll get a final look. Okay guys, so there we go. After refurbing the GTI's headlights, it's definitely more, more in person. It looks a lot, hell of a lot more better condition than these old manky faded headlights, but... Um, yeah guys, I'll um I'll go ahead and end this video here. I'll probably end up doing another video in the future. Um I do want to do a little bit more bits to this. I mean I've seen that they do these grills with like mesh holes in for the intercooler, although I don't even know if the intercooler goes far that much. But I'll have to have a little read up and then this grill. I've seen a grill on eBay for like 80 quid and it's like all this carbon fiber. Um so yeah, um, I've got, I think if you guys are long-term um, subscribers, you guys should know that I had a, red, a black one of these um, a long little while ago. Um, and I've still got the red GTI badges I bought for it up on the top shelf up there. So um, I'll probably end up putting them on. Otherwise, I've just uh, ordered some um, parts for it from Audi slash VW. Um, a new oil pressure sensor, a pickup pipe, oil and filter. Um, so hopefully soon we'll go ahead and get this thing properly serviced, some new plugs, and hopefully get it running bang on because January is definitely creeping up. I want this thing to be ready to drive. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.